welcome back to a new video so today we're gonna call it like craft it tuesday or something it's not gonna always be every tuesday <laughs> just today it just happens that i'm gonna be doing something with this junk journal that i'm making um i'm gonna show you show you i'm gonna quickly show you the junk journal so far so we've got like a cottage door cover um i've got i've been putting in it some pockets and tucks and stuff and um I've, i tell you i've thoroughly enjoyed making this i've been doing it on and off i just spent pretty much one whole day doing it and then since then like look pockets a little ribbon pocket like yeah um i've been just coming back to it on and off for about a week or two um yeah I, honestly these things are so therapeutic to make but this one i will be once i finished it i will be selling it so um i don't know whether to start an etsy shop i'm not sure whether to or not i don't know but if someone's interested in buying it then let me know if not i might start selling junk journals on etsy um this is a this is a page that i turn into a pocket um i've tried to put things in pockets so that people know that they're like little either little tuck spots or pockets this i thought was quite cute you could stick i've just put some little card things on you can put like photos on um these are two little double pockets that i've made so there's a little pocket at the back and then a little pocket at the front and there's two of those and then this is a little like tuck corner so you can tuck something up there and there's a little one on this side and each i've done three signatures and each signature has a little uh, you see that little burlap ribbon the lacy ribbon there that is a little tab to it, yeah so each signature is divided up with a tab thingy um this was a little i put made i put a little bit of ribbon there and you can use that as a tuck spot um so all these things that i've put in people don't have to keep them in they can um you know they can put their own things in take bits out that i've used i've still got lots to add into it this is an envelope which you can again you can keep stuff in if you want to i put that there to cover the envelope flat bit and this is a little corner pocket again i mean look there's loads of little pocket slots in this you could fill it right up i've just put a couple of bits in there so that you know that it's got you know you know it just looks nicer than with stuff in it <laughs> it's like a little bookmark i've made or a little label with another pocket i've done a little thing there i made it out of fabric and put a smile on it i thought that was quite cute and then we are near the back now i've made this some little pages with flaps i've made this little um this little dress i didn't know what to do with it but i thought i'll just shove it in <laughs> obviously you don't have to keep it in there um, and then i've got some little envelopes in the back to store things in as well so today um there's a lady on um tiktok called the vintage journal and um, she done a little TikTok tutorial making this little, it's like a note, notebook folder thing. So I'm going to make one today for the, the journal. Um, yeah, so I've got a bit of paper. This is actually a bit of cardstock. And we need to fold it into three. The paper's, I think it's 12 inches. It's just over, excuse my big head. I had to I had to look right over it so that I could see where I was um, folding but it's about that each section is just a, it's about 10 centimeters each section if you want to know the the width of it but I don't know the height of it I don't know how yes yeah, so I don't know that much <laughs> um, I do need a flap at the bottom now the flap at the bottom needs to be quite wide because we're going to add a, what do you call it? I don't know, we're going to add like a little circle thing. I don't know what they're called actually. I'm just going to cut out some sections here. So this would be, the this will be the top of our 
little folder. Not the bottom. This would be the top. This is where it gets a bit confusing. <laughs> and I've got this. This is a Distress Oxide. It's like ink with a, a blending sponge. And I don't do this on everything, but sometimes I like to just dab the, the edges. It gives it a kind of vintagey aged look. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. It's a personal preference thing. So I'm going to do this all the way around the edge. Okay, and then I've got, if you've got a stamp puncher thingy, um, I was going to use this, but I think the circle's going to be too small. So I'm actually going to take a two pence piece and using some of the scrap card, I'm going to draw around the two pence. I actually, we actually want two of these. So yeah, draw around that twice. I do, I would love to get some more punches, but they take up quite a lot of room. So it's yeah, sometimes it's just easier to do it this way. Although sometimes it's not as neat when you yeah, it's it's neater when you punch it out, but it's not it's not too bad. It doesn't it doesn't look terrible. <laughs> so I'm gonna cut out the other one. And you can use either side of this this card. It would have been quite nice to have had the card the looks like a waffle. So I'm gonna put them that way. It would be quite nice to have them that way as a bit of a contrast, but do whatever you want. I'm gonna put a punch a hole in this. The hole was actually a little bit too big, but it it was it was all right in the end. I'm gonna put some split pins through these. I'm gonna put that one on top of the other one because I sometimes I struggle to get the hole right in the middle and I didn't do too bad a job this time. So I thought, right, I'll put the other one underneath so that I've got a guide. <laughs> yeah. And then I've got, these are big split pins. These were, where were these from? Oh, these were from the range, actually, yeah. And, yeah. So again, I'm right, so you want to put a hole in the flap at the bottom. No, that's the top, sorry. That'll be a top flap. And then when you fold it up, the, the, the page that you want at the front, you need to punch a hole in the bottom of the front page. I've just realised the hearts are upside down. The hearts will be upside down, wouldn't they? They're the right way up on the flat, but the wrong way up on the... <laughs> you'll see in a minute. You'll, you'll see what I'm on about. Right, I'm just going to go around the edge of the circles with the ink. So that it doesn't look mismatched. And then, um, this is... Um, what is this? Like a, It's like some kind of... Um, I don't know, but it was from some packaging from some card that I bought and it was per I do have some that's slightly thicker than that But this one I kept so you don't throw anything away. You can always use it <laughs> um, That's gonna be perfect for Doing our for tying the the rings together So you just put your split things split pins through There we go And then you just want to tuck the the I can't remember really what that thread it's not thread is it tuck it around a few times and then it just lit it will curl under there you see and that will be that will be that done up but not finished so we've still got to add some paper inside but you get you get that's that's what it's going to look like once it's finished so on the inside you need if you've got some old paper that's great i have been using this cartridge paper from uh, an art pad that i bought like i've had this for years but I've been using this to add to my junk journals and I thought I'd use this for this little notepad. So I'm gonna cut it up into four pieces. So it's gonna be A5. I just, I like to mark out where I'm gonna cut so that it's nice and neat. You don't have to be so anal. <laughs> I'm just going to fold it again and put a, a little, yeah, a little dink there so I know which is halfway. 
and I do actually have to cut it down because it is just a little bit too big for the I want it slightly smaller so it's definitely too long and I do cut a little bit of the width as well because I, I just think it's a, just a little bit too long there we go so that's going to fit in there quite nicely then what I'm going to do is I need to put a little flap around the top to keep the pages together so again I'm just going to use some scrap card and I'm going to use this is called Fabri-Tac I use this pretty much for pretty much everything other than there are some things that I don't use it for, but I use it for most things. It's brilliant. So I'm just going to put a thin line of this along the top of each page to adhere them together. I was trying to think of the word then. <laughs> there we go. So that's going to keep them together. And then what I'm going to do is that little flap bit. I'm going to take that and I'm going to glue that onto the top. Again, using the Fabri-Tac because it's amazing. And it doesn't take ages to... To dry either it does take a little while depending on how much you put on but i mean it's pretty quick which i like it seems to be a lot quicker than pva um for for stuff like this i i do have pva but i just haven't I, honestly fabric tech is just amazing i'm going to put a little bit on the back of that flap then that's going to go into our notepad make sure it's nice and neat Okay, so that's, that's pretty good. And then we're going to put a little bit of the blue card because we want to cover the area where that split pin is. We don't want that to ex we don't want that exposed. So I'm going to just cut that off. And we're going to we're going to glue that so that it looks nice and neat. There we go. So it doesn't, doesn't take long. And then we're gonna just snip the excess from the edge. Make sure you don't cut the circle thing. I, I cut a little bit of that thread off, but it's not thread, what is it? Someone, can you let me know what it's called down below? <laughs> I literally, I've got, I just can't think. Okay, and then on each side, I've decided to put a little pocket as well because she added a little pocket and I thought they were quite cute. And also, if we add one on the left, it will cover up that split pin as well. So I want to make sure these pockets are the same size on each side. So they're a bit too long, so I'm going to cut some of the width off. There we go. And then using one of my punches again, I love these corner punches, they're amazing. I'm just gonna snip off the bottom corners, just round off the bottom corners. And then using the, the circle punch, we're just gonna punch some little, I don't even know what you wanna call these bits, divots. <laughs> I don't know, that's what they're called. Um, I also decided to Oh yeah, we got to ink the edges of these bits as well, just to make it look vintage. You don't have to do this. This is just, I just kind of like to do this. And and you'll probably notice that, you might not have noticed, but through the journal, I do some pages and some pages I don't. So it's kind of like, it's a bit hit and miss whether I've inked it or not. <laughs> don't forget to ink around the pockets. There we go. And I'll do the other, oh no, I've done the other one. I wasn't paying attention then. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a bit of glue on this split pin to keep it in place. Because I want it to behave. And I do, I leave that to set to dry before I put that pocket on, but I do the other pocket first. And remember, you want to make sure that it's on the bottom edge and the sides, not the top. Otherwise, you won't be able to put anything in it. There we go. 
and then we're going to do the same this side i just tap tap the glue on the thingy to make sure that it had dried otherwise we uh we wouldn't get anything in the pocket on this side and i i had to sort of hold this one down because that split pin got in the way a little bit so i just held it down at the bottom just until it had dried enough that I didn't have to touch it or hold it there if you know what I mean there we go so we've got our little notepad with two pockets and a little I don't even know what you want to call it but I'll link I'll link the vintage journals channel down below and I'll also link um I think her name's Aisha Khan Aisha or Aisha Khan um, she's the lady that inspired me to make the junk journal. My junk journal was very much inspired by her, so I'll link those below. But before we finish, I've just got to create a pocket to put the pad in. Um, there wasn't anywhere really that I could put it, so we're going to make a pocket though. Um, I have actually moved the, um, the notepad isn't actually living in this pocket at the minute. <laughs> but we're going to do a quick corner pocket. So again, this is some of that leftover card. I'm actually going to put it the waffle side up. Um, and then I was just looking through some of my like little die cut bits. And I thought this look, would look quite nice um, on the corner with the pocket in it. Even though I didn't put the pocket in. This is the other stuff that I use. It's called a glue pen. And you just, it's honestly, it's brilliant. And you just stick and it's done. That's a crafter's companion one. I think that was from the range. They're brilliant. Then we're going to find a little page to put this on. I was like, I was going to put it on that one. And then I thought, no, because I've already got a pocket the other side. So, yeah, so I found another. And remember, you only want to put it on the corners, not on the top. Otherwise, the pocket will be sealed and you won't get anything in it. <laughs> I've done that before. Silly sausage. There we go. So I'm going to just pop that onto the page. And then I thought we'd add a little bit of ribbon. Uh, this is a kind of ribbon. I'm not sure what it is, but it was from... Um, I think this one was from Shein. You can get some really cool ribbons and stuff from Shein. I'm going to put some of that Fabri-Tac on the paper or card. And then I'm going to place the ribbon on top of the glue just because it's easier, I think, for me, as opposed to putting it on the ribbon. And then I thought this way would be less messy. And then we can just tuck this little pad into our little pocket and then we're done. And that's that. I hope you enjoyed it. Eek. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. And I will see you in the next one with some nails. Love you. Bye.